So you're saying that the preacher is going to be on a screen? Yes. Can he see us? Can we see him? What? No. I, I don't really understand how any of this works. Hello everyone, we're here for our final location. My name is Barnabas Sterling and I've been leading this journey with the Petties to help them find the perfect church. We're at our final one and they're looking at a very special one this week and it's called the House Church. All right guys, we are here at our final location. I know you're looking around, you're going, this isn't a location, this is a house. Well, you got it exactly right. Our final location is what I call the House Church. What is really awesome about this, it's a smaller group of people and they meet at each other's homes. So it's a very tight-knit group. They're like a family. They love each other, care for one another, high level of accountability, and they really like to serve and interconnect in the community. They do have one of the coolest things about a house church is high level of conversation and discussion around certain topics rather than just one person speaking to you. It's pretty awesome, don't you guys think? What, what are some of your initial thoughts? Well, I do have a question about house church. Yeah. What about the kids' ministry? Do the kids just go outside and play in the backyard? Well, yeah, sometimes, but the kids here in the house church are a part of the church. It's not separated from the church. The other concern I had when you were talking about accounting, I don't really understand. Do we bring financial documents? I don't yeah. understand how that works exactly. No, no, it's um, accountability. It's accountability. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not accounting. I'm not even going to try to explain. Hey, let me explain this. There, there are two things. You know, like every place so far, I've given you a couple of unique surprises about those. Let me tell you the uniqueness about the house church. You ready for this? Number one, it's right down the street from your house. You can literally walk here and they rotate so you can even occasionally host if you would like to as well. No? Okay, let me give you another good thing. Here's a great thing that they do here. They actually do baptisms in the pool. Are the right chlorine here. levels okay? I, I don't know. Um, but how about this? For now, let's assume they're great. Um, they're perfect. And uh, what we're going to do now, we've had four options. We're going to go back downtown, give you a little time to have a conversation and to think about this, and then pick your perfect church. You guys ready for this? All right. Let's, do let's go. One hour later. Well, now that we have looked at all four of our options, it's the big moment. It's that time when you're going to get to pick from one of the four options. And I'm going to be honest with you right here up front. This has been super challenging. At moments, I even wanted to give up. <laughs> but I didn't. We've stuck with it. And so we have four options that we're going to look at. Let's take a look and remember what those four options were. The first option was the contemporary church. A lot of great things that were there. Number two, if you remember, we went to the traditional church. Then we traveled over and we got to look at the modern church and it had all of the modern features. And then the last one was the house church that we just left. So based on the four options, where have you landed? Well, we we had things about each one that we liked. We weighed the options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, and things about each one we didn't like. Right. <laughs> And what we've finally decided after talking it over is that, you know what? If we're really going to find the perfect church, we're going to have to start our own. So this fall, we're launching the, the perfect, perfect church. church. Oh, my gosh. Where are you going, Barney? The dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm really excited about it. Going? It's going to be good. we got to make sure to invite him. Absolutely. 